What's it like to attend the British Grand Prix? Well, I'm going this weekend, so I thought I'd show you guys what's what. There's the uh, F1 Esports guys there. We were staying in the same hotel as them. Me and Ben, Ben Daly here. Hey, <laughs> subscribe to the team at <laughs> Great. I think you need to do that for me, not the other <laughs> way around, to be honest. I need the shout outs. Oh yeah, yeah, really need the subs. <laughs> um, yeah, we're, we're gonna head to the track today. Just gonna have a wander around, see who we see. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna try and vlog, vlog the experience and what it's like. So uh, heading to the beast there, red car over there. And I'll try not to get one over, but uh, yeah, let's do this. Grand Prix. There's the wing. Nothing on track at the minute. F1 cars come on shortly for FP3. <clears throat> Hope you enjoy that time lapse in. There's the, uh, the grandstand. And uh, we'll try and get a little bit of tracking. There it is. Garage is just over there. Unfortunately, we're not lucky enough to have paddock or garages this weekend. But uh, yeah, let's get to what else we can find. Speaking of someone else you can uh, find, how's F1 cars? You're going to see them. They're over there somewhere. Hopefully you can hear them though, in the pit lane. So that's something you can find at the British Grand Prix, F1 cars. That was FP1, that was from turn three, I think. And uh, pretty interesting viewpoint up there, it's quite high up, so it's good. The cars are going quite slowly, but it's good to see them for a bit longer than just flying past like from turn one. And uh, Ben, how was that? How was FP1 for you? That was pretty uh, interesting. Like a lot of the cars were sparking up as they went through turn one, which is uh, really, really good to see. I think Hamilton was on the pace setter, was he? I didn't even look at the time, so I was just watching the cars go by. Yeah, Mercedes looks strong. Verstappen has like literally just pulled over to the side with some yeah. kind of issue. We don't know what it is at the moment. But. Yeah. Yeah, so the car's still going around for now as a virtual ending in virtual safety car, so we thought we'd head off. Fortunately my voice decided to die on the weekend I need to vlog, so that's gonna be fun. So that might get progressively worse throughout this video. But uh, yeah, like, like Ben said, there was a lot of spark every turn one, which is quite cool to see. Um, so it's always cool to see the cars give an ice cream turn. And uh, I don't know where we're going, I think we're gonna head to the F1 fun zone and see what's going on. Here we go, F1 fan zone. I'm not sure what's going on back here. Some some ladies on uh, stilts with their F1 outfits, but this is the fan zone. So it's just kind of entertainment, really. Uh, bars, food places, uh, the Mercedes stand over there. This is kind of where all the all the sort of manufacturing stuff have stands. Um, not too sure what else we've got at the minute. There's some nice toilets over there. Lovely. Uh, yeah, we'll have a little wander around see what else is going on here. So this is the F1 fan zone then, so down there, right at the end, here, we've got the uh, pit stop challenge, which is basically you have to compete with people and compare and change the tyre, obviously, under it, take it off, put the new one, redo it back up, like in uh, like real F1. Here you've got the esports, which used to be the game zone, basically you have a uh, load of rigs and everyone races against each other. It's, uh, it's quite a lot better than the game zone, the games have used to be enclosed, it's quite nice this is now open with the advent of course of F1 esports. Uh, here you've got driver fitness, which I think is just, uh, it's basically just like a museum type thing, I think, of like, information of driver fitness. 
reaction challenge just there, which is uh, just sort of pads you have to press, like the real F1 drivers do for re reaction test, press different pads. At the bottom there, we've got TV challenge, uh, which is basically a challenge to, to host a TV show, like, like Sky Sports. Here, which is quite cool, we've got the Renault. Um, we're not trying to get the front here, you've got a sort of a, 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 a 20 something concept car. That's pretty cool. An old F1 car, I'm quite sure, right like, there we go. And then the reaction part at the back. So there's quite a lot going on around here, it's just sort of uh, something to do really while there's no track action on, a uh, little bit of fun. Uh, stuff for the kids, stuff for the adults. There's, uh, there's an F1 store Hello. over there. There I am. I lost you. I was vlogging. <laughs> Too busy vlogging, man. Yeah. Busy, 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 uh, busy, 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 busy boys. So uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, like I say, various stalls and uh, program stall. Very exciting stuff. And uh, yeah, I think that's about it for this one. So this is the middle of the stage area. Hope you can hear me over the commentary. Stage over there. And uh, apparently they're showing the England match, the England quarter-final World Cup match. So you'll already know the result of uh, tomorrow. So hopefully this page will be full with people in the atmosphere. It should be unreal. But uh, yeah, that's the stage. So here we go, this is Woodcock B. You can see just over there is the stage where we're a minute ago, so we walk around. And I uh, thought I'd quickly get in some vlogging while the cars aren't here. This is F2 practice. <coughs> Pretty good view from here. You can see quite a bit actually. And uh, F2 cars now, of course, turbo. Don't make quite the noise they did before, but they still sound pretty good. They're all running slowly, unfortunately. That's the car coming through now. Let's have a listen. Now. So, I may or may not have forgot to <laughs> vlog after that last uh, little, the few clips, but uh, yeah, that's, that was F2 practice. Uh, from uh, from Woodcock, as I mentioned. So, uh, yeah, it's a pretty good view up there, actually. You can see quite a lot of the track. It's pretty cool. Just step over the barrel out for me, over. And uh, went back to the fun zone, had a little look around. And uh, you can see the Mercedes. Uh, what's the Mercedes car called again? AMG Project One. Project One, that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's a pretty cool car. And uh, just heading over now to see a couple of guys we know. Um, here, want to get more track action. So, uh, yeah. I don't know if you can hear me, after a little bit of blagging, I managed to get on the inside of the circuit, which uh, you're not supposed to be able to do with a normal ticket, so a bit of blagging required, but we got here. I think you need some sort of special pass to get here, but um, we're here anyway, so we're now in the uh, support, support paddock. We've got the Prima truck here. We've got cars in the background there, and uh, just over there we had some real nice classic cars. Um, I don't even know where they were, fortunately, but... Um, Mega, they sound just so loud, and my god, just it's amazing how uh, that's what actually used to race at, at you know 150 miles an hour, whatever those, those things did. So, uh, let's see what else we can find. <laughs> Well, that was a bit of luck. Just rolling around a bit of the track where I shouldn't be, going to the sport paddock where I probably shouldn't be. Then finding some modern era F1 cars, some classic F1 cars, half of which are firing up. Wow, okay, well that's, uh, that's not normally how you experience Silverstone, but that's appeared to be how I've done it today. Um, just in this area as well, we've got a nice big screen. Just there, so we're gonna watch the end of FP2 here. And uh, yeah, then we'll go watch those uh, amazing classic cars go out on track.
Omega, see all the classic cars, especially seeing them up so up close and uh, seeing them fire up and stuff. Just uh, still in the sport paddock here. Um, Herbert just whizzed off on a scooter over there. You can see him there in the background on a scooter. There he goes. Uh, he's spent quite a bit of time taking pictures with people, which is quite cool. <coughs> um, good five minutes or so. There's a few guys still around here. Stan Gutierrez, um, Adrian Newish is over there, Damon Hill. There's a few names. Uh, speaking Festa, man. How weird is that? <laughs> right there. Um, but uh, yeah, I think that pretty much wraps up day one for me. I'm um, going to go and hook up again with Ben, ben Daly now, I think. <coughs> My voice is definitely getting worse. You'll notice it more over the course of the video. But uh, yeah, I think that wraps up day one. Um, more the same tomorrow. So, day two then, you see, I've done the double TF1 hat. That's because uh, I'm with my friend Matt, he was just over there filming. Um, and yeah, we're just uh, just around the Silverstone Woodlands uh, camera site at the minute, just to film a few bits. It's actually quite a cool camera site, there's quite a lot, apparently there's about 17,000 people that are booked to stay here, so really busy. Probably notice my voice is not holding up well, and this is only the second day, so tomorrow I probably won't be able to talk, so that'll be fun. But uh, yeah, so just hang around with these guys for now. We'll be heading to the track soon. So that was FP3 from, uh, I don't know what the corner it was, Stowe, so the guys behind me there. Uh, we're just now heading to the fan zone. Not really too sure what we're gonna do, I'm walking backwards because I'm trying not to get lost with them. I don't normally wear my hat with this, but uh, my neck's rather burnt, so I thought I'd give it a go. But uh, yeah, heading to the fan zone, I think we're gonna meet up with some of the esports drivers and uh, see what's going on over there today. There was there in quality. The, uh, the burn's getting worse, hence the tops off. But uh, we're now heading to watch the, the England game. Um, yeah, on quality, that was actually a pretty good space to watch because we've got the team uh, using DRS for turn one. Voice is also getting worse. And uh, yeah, pretty much everyone here, I think, is heading to watch the England game quarterfinals. So uh, that should be a good one. Yeah. Wow, okay, British Grand Prix, British driver on pole, England just won <laughs> the quarter-finals of the World Cup into the semi-finals. Um, it's quite a good weekend to be at the British Grand Prix, I'm not going to lie. So uh, that was pretty special, there's a lot of people watching it, it's all quite quiet down now. Um, yeah, crazy scene, such a good atmosphere, so, so good, so awesome. My voice is still dying, Sun's going in though, Sun might be better, so uh, yeah. Anyway, I think that pretty much wraps it up from day two, qualifying day, like I said, Hamilton on pole, British Grand Prix. So uh, yeah, let's see if we can convert tomorrow and have a real good uh, British uh, weekend of sport. Here we go for day three then. Voice is not any better, but I don't think it's too much worse, thankfully. Sunburn is not great, um, hence the cap, and uh, I've even got an extra t-shirt today. Uh, to try and cover some of that, but uh, we'll get through this this uh, this British heat wave we're having. It's uh, 
not what our spirits are used to. But uh, anyway, we're just at, uh, at Silverstone uh, Woodlands uh, campsite at the minute. Um, could be heading to track shortly. I'm just these guys again in the background. They're uh, filming a series called uh, Grill the Grandstand, which I was part of a minute ago. Basically, just asked 15 questions of a random F1 fans to see how they do. Um, so, yeah, that'll be out in a couple of weeks, I think. So, I will be part of that. And uh, yeah, I think that's about it for now. Like I said, heading to track soon. You're probably here in the background. So, I think it's F2 races going on at the minute. And uh, we'll be heading to track shortly to, uh, to watch F1. Um, so, we have to just be right on our toes and be 100% fucking there. I was looking forward by that wind last night. Did you catch any of the football? Of course. Here we are then, out of the track. Race day, British Grand Sunday. There's uh, quite a buzz about the place now. So busy, of course, track side. General Mission area gets so busy so early. And let's the start finish straight at the wing here. That's a great deal. But uh, there's, there's someone check out the going on over there. Also, can't see that. But uh, yeah, there's quite a buzz. It's so, so much busier on race day. So this is our view for the race. This is the DRS end of the DRS end just here. So hopefully we'll see some side-by-side -side action through here. See quite a bit of the track, not much of the sky where the red arrows are happening right now, but it's quite a lot of track here. Here we are on the apex of the cops, and uh, race is over. Obviously, good race actually. Uh, good seat certainly, and uh, always get track invasion at the end. Here we go. <laughs> Been invaded by WTF1. <coughs> um, no, really good race, and uh, we're just gonna walk down now through Magnus and Peckett's along. Um, I forgot the name of the straight. That straight, I'll remember in a minute. Uh, back to uh, I go and head home, but uh, yeah. Mega race, mega seats. Shame Lewis couldn't quite come back for the win for the British Grand Prix. I'll try and turn around, get some around my face. There we go. Um, but uh, yeah, it was certainly enjoyable. Of course, him getting putted off at the start and then uh, coming back through um, was great. There was lots of cheers um, from the British fans, and uh, but second place was mega result really from where he was. So. Uh, 
think the British fans can be happy. Um, wasn't quite the British win that we all hoped for. Um, it's always nice to see a driver win the home race, isn't it? So, uh, so yeah, good race. We're just going to, like I say, walk on the track now. Brand new track service. It's very, very, very hot. Um, apparently, it's about 55 degrees during the race. Something like that. So, seriously hot uh, track. Because it's, uh, it's new, it's darker as well. So, also, this is the supposedly really bumpy tarmac. So bumpy. Um, pretty crazy, puts into perspective, really, doesn't it? It seems silky smooth from uh, when you stood still. Um, looking at it, walking on it. But if on cars, it's really bumpy all the way around. It's crazy. So, here we are near Magnus and Beckett's. Uh, they're pretty incredible, really, when you look how tight they are in real life compared to how quick they're going. Curry in the gravel. And it's shocking how deep it is. This got me the first show I came to a, to a, to a race. So deep. So, so deep. And you, when you walk in one, you realise why cars get stuck in them. Because I'm struggling to walk. If an F1 car was here, it would have no chance. So, uh, yeah, that's a really interesting thing to, uh, to do if you, if you go to a race. Well, there we go. Then we just finished the long, long walk down the straight and through magazine pickets. My God, that is a long way. Amazing F1 cars do it in about 20 seconds. We just took about half an hour to do the same thing, same distance. But here we are then at the, uh, the pit entry. You see the wing there in the background. You can probably hear some jazzy music from the driver's lounge just over there. You've got Stowe just behind me. And uh, I think that pretty much wraps it up for this video. Um, for the third and final day, race day of Silverstone. Great weekend all round. Um, great race. It's great that the British driver did well, even if he didn't win. Um, and yeah, I mean, I think the best bit about the British Grand Prix is just the atmosphere. It's, you know, it's always a great atmosphere here, always very positive. But uh, yeah, really good weekend. I really enjoyed it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video too. And I thank you for watching. Bye-bye.